Good morning. As the first light of winter dawns, there's a sense of anticipation in the air. The world outside is quiet, blanketed in fresh snow, and it's the perfect time to look ahead at what the coming winter might bring. As we look ahead to winter 2025 to 2026, it's clear that a big change is coming. The atmosphere is already hinting at a dramatic shift, and meteorologists are watching the skies closely for signs of what's to come. After last year's mild El Nino winter which brought less snow and warmer temperatures to many regions, this season is shaping up to be a return to classic cold and snow for much of North America and Europe. For those who missed the thrill of a true winter, this could be the year you've been waiting for. The reason? A combination of a weak La Nina developing in the Pacific Ocean and a disrupted polar vortex high above the Arctic. These two powerful climate drivers are aligning in a way that hasn't happened in several years, and their influence will be felt across continents. These two climate drivers are setting the stage for a winter with more Arctic air and heavier snow than we've seen in years. Expect more frequent snowstorms, deeper snowdrifts, and longer stretches of cold weather, especially in areas that saw milder conditions last year. The jet stream, that fast-moving river of air high above us, will shift its path opening the door for cold Canadian air to plunge south and bring significant snow. This means that regions unaccustomed to heavy snow could see some surprises, while traditional snow belts may experience even more intense conditions. This is a big departure from last year's pattern, so it's time to get ready. Whether you're a winter sports enthusiast, a commuter, or just someone who loves cozy nights by the fire, preparation will be key. Stock up on essentials, check your winter gear, and make sure your home is ready for whatever the season brings. In this chapter we'll break down what La Nina and the polar vortex mean, how they'll interact, and what to expect region by region. We'll explore which areas are likely to see the most snow, where the coldest temperatures will hit, and how these patterns could impact travel, agriculture, and daily life. We'll also look at the timing, month by month, so you know when to expect the coldest and snowiest weather. From early season flurries to late winter storms, we'll help you plan ahead and stay informed as the season unfolds. So grab a warm drink, settle in, and let's dive into the forecast together. Whether you're hoping for snow days or just want to be prepared, we've got everything you need to know about the winter of 2025 to 2026. Let's start with La Nina, the cool phase of the Pacific climate cycle. During La Nina, colder than normal waters in the Pacific strengthen the trade winds and shift the jet stream south. This brings stormier, colder weather to the northern U.S. and southern Canada, while the southern U.S. tends to be warmer and drier. This year, a weak La Nina is expected to develop by late autumn, with a high probability of impacting our winter. Even a weak La Nina can set up a cold, stormy pattern in the north. Regions like the Pacific Northwest, Northern Rockies and Upper Midwest are likely to see more snow and colder temperatures. La Nina sets the stage for winter but it's just one part of the story. Next, let's look at the polar vortex. The polar vortex is a huge area of cold, low-pressure air swirling over the North Pole. When it's strong, it keeps Arctic air locked up north, but when it weakens or wobbles that cold air escapes southward. This can trigger Arctic blasts and deep freezes in North America, Europe, and Asia. One major disruptor is sudden stratospheric warming, which can knock the vortex off balance. This winter, atmospheric patterns like the quasi-biennial oscillation are favoring a weaker vortex. A disrupted vortex acts like an open gate, letting polar air spill into the mid-latitudes. That's when we see the most extreme cold and snow. While La Nina sets the storm track, the polar vortex delivers the real winter punch. Together they can turn a cold winter into a severe one. La Nina and the Polar Vortex are a powerful team. La Nina shifts the jet stream and primes the atmosphere for cold and storms. But it's the Polar Vortex that delivers the Arctic air. When the vortex weakens, high pressure builds over the Arctic, forcing the jet stream south and funneling cold air into the storm track. The result? Heavy snow and blizzards, especially when Arctic air collides with moisture-laden storms. This combination is what made winters like 2020 to 2021 so memorable. This year, models suggest a similar setup. La Nina brings the storms, the vortex brings the cold. Expect several southward plunges of Arctic air, boosting snowfall in the Midwest, Great Lakes and Northeast. It's this tag team that could make winter 2025 to 2026 one for the record books. Let's break down what this winter forecast means for each region across the United States, as the impacts will be far from uniform. 
From the snow-laden mountains of the northwest, to the mild dry fields of the south, every area will experience winter in its own unique way. In the Pacific Northwest and Northern Rockies, residents should brace for a classic stormy winter. Frequent Pacific storms will sweep in, bringing persistent precipitation and above-average mountain snowpack. Ski resorts and mountain towns can expect a boost, with deep powder days likely and avalanche risks elevated. Rivers and reservoirs will benefit from the extra runoff, but travel could be hazardous at times due to heavy snow and icy conditions. Meanwhile, the Southwest, including California, Arizona, and New Mexico, will likely see a much different story. This region is forecast to be drier and warmer than usual, with below-average snowfall in the mountains and little to no snow in the valleys and deserts. Water concerns may persist, and outdoor winter activities could be limited by the lack of snow. The northern and central plains, along with the upper Midwest, are in the bullseye for a harsh winter. Expect frequent cold snaps, heavy snowfalls, and a high risk of blizzards, especially during January, when Arctic air is most likely to surge southward. Rural communities and cities alike should prepare for potential travel disruptions, school closures, and increased heating needs. Early and persistent snow cover in Canada will help reinforce these cold outbreaks, sending frigid air southward and intensifying winter storms across the border. This setup could prolong cold spells and make the season feel even longer for those in the northern states. The Northeast and Great Lakes regions should prepare for a busy winter, with above-normal snowfall likely. Nor'easters could bring powerful coastal storms, while lake-effect snow will pile up in traditional snowbelt areas. Cities from Buffalo to Boston may see several significant snow events, making shovels and snowblowers a must-have. However, temperatures will play a crucial role. If cold air retreats, coastal areas could see more wintry mix or rain instead of snow, leading to slushy streets and icy conditions. The timing and track of each storm will determine whether you're digging out or dodging puddles. The Appalachian Mountains are favored for heavier snow this year, especially at higher elevations. Hikers and mountain communities should expect several significant snowfalls, with the potential for scenic winter landscapes and challenging travel conditions. In contrast, the South, from Texas through the Carolinas, will experience a milder and drier winter overall. Snow chances will be limited and many areas may go the entire season without a significant snowfall. Outdoor activities and travel should be less impacted, but drought concerns could linger in some spots. In summary, while the North braces for a classic snowy winter with all its challenges and beauty, the South gets a break with milder, drier conditions. No matter where you live, it's wise to stay prepared and keep an eye on the forecast as the season unfolds. Europe is in for a dynamic winter too. A weak La Nina and disrupted polar vortex often mean colder, snowier conditions for Northern and Central Europe. Blocking patterns near Greenland or Scandinavia can force cold Siberian air westward, setting up widespread cold waves and snow. Germany, Poland, Scandinavia and the Alps are likely to see prolonged cold and heavy snow. Great news for ski resorts. Southern Europe, especially Spain and Portugal, may get more rain than snow, except in the mountains. The UK and Ireland will see swings between cold, snowy spells and milder, wetter periods. Western Europe will be a battleground between cold continental and milder Atlantic air. Expect a highly variable winter across the continent. Let's take a closer look at how this winter is expected to unfold, breaking it down month by month so you can plan ahead and know what to expect as the season progresses. December 2025 is likely to begin on a milder note for much of the country, thanks to a strengthening La Nina pattern. However, don't let the calm start fool you. Early hints of a weakening polar vortex could set the stage for sudden changes. The first real shots of cold air and accumulating snow are most likely to target the Rockies and Midwest, where residents may see the first significant snowfalls of the season. As the month progresses, watch for increasing chances of wintry weather, especially in areas that typically see their first snow in December. January 2026 is shaping up to be the heart of winter, and it could be the most intense month of the season. Expect major Arctic outbreaks to sweep across the country, bringing deep freezes and heavy snow, especially to the north-central U.S., the Great Lakes, and the Northeast. Blizzard conditions are possible, with biting winds and dangerous wind chills. Cities and towns in these regions should brace for significant disruptions, from school closures to travel delays. This is the time when winter's full force will be felt. 
January is the month to be fully prepared for severe winter weather. Make sure your emergency kits are stocked, your vehicles are winter ready, and your home is equipped to handle extended periods of cold and snow. Communities should be ready for power outages and hazardous travel conditions. As we move into February 2026, the cold and snow are expected to continue, especially across the northern tier of the country. The storm track remains active, delivering frequent rounds of snow and reinforcing the winter chill. For many in the north, February can feel like a never-ending stretch of winter, with snow piling up and temperatures staying stubbornly low. If the polar vortex remains unstable, late-season Arctic surges could bring additional rounds of snow and bitter cold, even as the days slowly begin to lengthen. These late winter blasts can catch people off guard, so it's important to stay vigilant and keep winter gear handy. By late February, there may finally be some relief in sight. The overall pattern could start to relax, especially across the southern states, where milder air begins to push northward. Early signs of spring may appear, with snow melting and days growing noticeably longer. The southern U.S. will likely see an early end to winter, with more sunshine and opportunities for outdoor activities. However, for the northern states, winter's grip may linger, and residents should stay alert for late-season storms and cold snaps that can still occur well into March. Each month brings its own unique risks and challenges, so it's important to stay prepared, stay informed, and be ready to adapt as the winter unfolds. No matter where you live, keeping an eye on the forecast and having a plan in place will help you weather whatever this season brings. Long-range forecasts are tricky. Think of them as a guide, not a guarantee. The atmosphere is chaotic, and the polar vortex is a major wild card. If the vortex stays strong, the coldest air could remain locked in the Arctic, leading to a milder winter than expected. Meteorologists will watch the stratosphere and Siberian snow cover closely for clues. Early widespread snow in Siberia often leads to a weaker vortex and colder winter. As new data comes in, forecasts will be updated, so stay tuned. Use this outlook as an early heads up to start winter preparations. For the latest details, always check with your local meteorologists. With a colder, snowier winter likely, now's the time to prepare. Seal drafts around windows and doors and have your heating system checked. Clean gutters to prevent ice dams. Get your car winter ready. Check tires, battery and pack an emergency kit with blankets, snacks and a torch. Make sure everyone in your family has warm clothing and boots. Prepare a home emergency kit with food, water, batteries and medications for at least 72 hours. A little planning now means you'll be ready for whatever winter brings. Stay safe, stay warm and enjoy the season. That's your winter forecast.